It was one of the most enduring mysteries in Irish identity, a phrase whispered across centuries, tinged with romance and suspicion, the Black Irish. For generations, the term conjured images of striking dark-haired people on the Atlantic fringe, outliers in a land imagined as pale and freckled. Some said they were descended from shipwrecked sailors of the Spanish Armada. Others claimed they were remnants of an ancient tribe, untouched by waves of conquest. Still others dismissed it as nothing more than a stereotype, an invention with no genetic basis at all. But behind the folklore, behind the stories told in pubs and passed through families, scientists kept circling the same haunting question. What is the real origin of the Black Irish? Is it just a myth? Or is there something written in the very code of DNA that explains the shadow behind the phrase? For years, the answer remained buried under layers of history and half-remembered tales. And now, thanks to the convergence of archaeology, cutting-edge genetics, and the determination of a few researchers, the secret is finally being pulled into the light. The story does not begin with the Spanish Armada or Norman Knights. It begins much earlier, with a handful of skeletons unearthed from windswept soil in Western Ireland. Their teeth, silent for millennia, would carry a message across time. In the late 19th century, Irish antiquarians were busy cataloging ancient burial mounds and forgotten cemeteries. Among their finds were remains that seemed unremarkable at first, bones of local villagers, marked with little more than weathered stones. Notes were made, boxes stored, and the evidence slipped quietly into museum basements in Dublin and London, and then forgotten. More than a century later, while tracing population shifts in Ireland, a genetic historian stumbled upon these archives. The burial records caught his attention, not for their grandeur, but for a strange consistency. Several of the skeletons came from isolated communities in the West, places long tied to the legend of the Black Irish. The question was simple but dangerous. Could DNA from these ancient bones reveal what stories could not? For that, the historian turned to paleogeneticists, specialists who could coax secrets from fragments of bone powder. The teeth of seven individuals were drilled, releasing grains of pale dust preserved for thousands of years. Inside that dust, locked within microscopic strands, lay the inheritance of generations. The results would unsettle every neat story. Within those genomes were signals that did not match neatly with the Celtic or Viking past so often celebrated. Instead, they traced deeper to migrations and mixtures that reshaped Ireland long before written history. And one detail stood out with chilling clarity. A mutation tied to iron overload, hemochromatosis, appeared with striking frequency. In modern times, this condition is so common in Ireland, it is sometimes called the Celtic Curse. But here it was, already entrenched centuries ago. A dark genetic legacy carried forward, hidden in plain sight. For the researchers, this was more than a medical clue. It was a fingerprint, a marker linking the so-called Black Irish not to romance of shipwrecked Spaniards, but to a far older story of survival, adaptation, and hidden cost. The deeper they dug, the more anomalies appeared. Hair color, skin tone, metabolic traits, shadows of an ancestry not explained by the myths. And when the DNA was compared to global databases, connections emerged not with Spain, but with the rugged Atlantic fringes stretching back to the Bronze Age. This was not coincidence. This was a genetic echo of peoples who had weathered famine, plague, and isolation on Ireland's western edge. Communities that endured by marrying within, passing on not only culture, but mutations. And from that endurance came a paradox. Striking physical traits admired from afar, but carried alongside hidden vulnerabilities written in DNA. The smoking gun was here, not in legend, but in bone. It was the kind of evidence that forced scholars to rethink comfortable myths. For centuries, people reached for easy explanations, shipwrecked sailors, lost tribes, but the DNA was unrelenting. 
it whispered a story that was neither sudden nor simple. The roots stretched back over 4,000 years into the Bronze Age. Archaeology had long shown a cultural shift. Stone monuments replaced by metalwork, new burial rites, new tools. Historians wondered, was this invention or invasion? Genetics gave the answer. Nearly 90% of Ireland's early population was replaced in just a few centuries. New peoples arrived with bronze, languages, and most of all, genes. Among them were markers for darker hair and eyes, traits later woven into the Black Irish myth. These features did not arrive with Spanish sailors in the 1500s. They had been on the island for millennia, layered into its foundations. Isolation along the Atlantic fringe intensified certain traits. Small communities intermarried, and striking features became common. One mutation stood out, the C2A2Y variant in the HFE gene, linked to hemochromatosis. Today it is a curse, causing iron overload. But in a land often marked by famine, it may once have been a hidden strength. Efficient iron storage could mean survival when food was scarce. A burden in times of plenty, but a gift in hunger. This paradox reframed the Black Irish. They were not products of conquest, but descendants of endurance. Still, why did the term appear so late? Historians point to the 19th century. After the Great Famine, Emigrants from Galway, Kerry, and Mayo carried darker looks preserved in isolation. In America, difference became label, Black Irish. It was less science than prejudice, but the name stuck. Over time, the myth grew. It spread into novels, songs, and family lore until it felt timeless. But DNA asked a harsher question. What if the truth was stranger than legend? What if the Black Irish were not outsiders at all, but Ireland's oldest story? Survivors whose beauty and burden were both written in their genes. Comparisons confirmed it. Norse traces in coastal towns, Norman echoes in burials, faint Iberian contact. But these were footnotes. The real transformation had come millennia earlier, when Bronze Age migrants reshaped the island. And with them came a cost. Genetic disorders of blood and iron carried silently through generations. The striking hair and eyes were only the surface. Beneath lay a medical inheritance born from survival. And so the myth unraveled. The black Irish were never strangers. They were Ireland itself. <laughs>